Well, I decided we would play from someone else's perspective today, guys. So we are going to be defending the USS Hornet here against Japanese planes. I want to make sure to first first off go ahead and get our Wildcats attacking here. Uh, I'm going to take them and immediately target the first group of Japanese planes that I see right there. Uh, I'm going to target each individually. And the reason being, we'll pretty much bring guns to bear and should be able to shoot them out of the sky pretty quickly. So let's go ahead. I'm going to order that attack run. Order that attack run. Let's get some Wildcats here. We're going to miss this group of torpedo bombers. That's not good. But I don't know if the Wildcats can actually get here in time. I am going to try to target them. I'm also going to see if I can't target them with the destroyers as well here. So it looks like they're already firing. But we got to get all this radar on to make sure that we properly spot these planes. I'm going to go ahead and make sure. Yep, right there. Come on, get those damn planes on your sights. I'm guessing we should go for HE here. Definitely go for HE. There we go. Man, it's terrifying being this close. They're getting closer to our carrier, of course. That's, of course, what we want to avoid. Come on, boys. Come on. You can get them. You can get them. One down. One down. The other three are going to be going for the carrier. I think they're going to get some... They're actually going to get some drops. Um, let's take a look. Let's hope they're duds. And so far, we're doing an okay job in terms of keeping these guys off the carrier. I don't see any torp... No, I see two on the way. Three on the way. Three are going to hit us. There's no way to stop this spread. We're going to have to eat them. It's that simple. Let's go back to our air units here. One of them missed. Very, very lucky. All right, our Wildcats are still chasing some enemy planes here. No doubt trying to score some hits. It looks like they actually took out, or didn't take out, but started attacking that frontal ship there. I want to make sure to switch targets, because we're not going to be as effective if we don't have these targets marked. I want to make sure those are actual enemy targets. Yes, they are. Being chased by our boys. Zoom in just a little bit. Now, the issue here is, of course, we're not targeting the entire group. We're targeting one plane. So, I'm actually going to switch to these planes a little bit closer to us. Let's see how the Hornet is doing. Still more planes coming in. We do have the Wildcats chasing them down. This is just a hell of a fight going on in the skies. Trying to shoot down as many of the enemies as possible. Let's break off here and try and grab one of these. I'm actually going to go ahead and send the Wildcats individually at this point. Just make sure that these guys cannot be of any more danger to us. And this guy is already going for his target. Let's watch this attack run. Oh, baby. Yeah, one down. More to come, I hope. I hope that we've done enough to defend the ship, defend the carrier. I'm trying to look for any potential other enemy targets. I'm not seeing them. We do have Raider on in just about every single one of our ships. I don't think we need sonar, though, because we're, we're not going to have any submarines attack us, as far as I know. There we go. Yep. Spotted some enemies up there. I think we'll go for these guys. I love that flak, though. That is just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely keeping the enemy off us for the most part. Let's see how the carrier is doing. She's all right, but you can see that front, and it could just be the speed at which we're sailing. It does seem to be dipping into the water a bit. Um, the Hornet got struck by three torps, so that's not a good thing, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, but so far, I think we're okay, as long as these Wildcats can chase down the remaining enemy planes. break away with that wildcat. This one's already going for one of them. And they're both kind of smoking. They're, tra they're trailing smoke. So we might yet be able to pick these guys up. Let's take a look at these. Oh yeah, these wildcats are doing a good job. Still, that rear gun is pretty dangerous. But look at that. Our guy coming in for another strafing run. 
I think we're gonna knock that guy out of the sky eventually. Come on. Here we go. Another zero down. Not 100% sure if it's a zero or a vow, whatever the hell it is. It's in the ocean now. Let's not worry about it anymore. I do like this perspective, I will admit. Um, and let me know in the comments below. What do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the defensive perspective here or the offensive one where we actually go out on bombing runs? Um, I really am enjoying the bombing runs, I have to say. I think I've grown a little bit addicted to them, to be honest. Let's get this wildcat. I'm going to chase the same plane. Until they're on the map, we are trying to maximize our kills here. And as far as I can tell, as long as the radar is correct here, I don't believe the enemy is going to be able to send any more attacks, which I believe means we get out of here successfully with the Hornet. First. Wipe out the rest of these planes. Yeah, Hornet is trailing smoke. He's a brave guy, but he is trailing smoke. Thankfully, if he does survive this landing, more than likely one of these ships would be able to pick him up. Alright. As always, and I mentioned this in the initial offensive video with the Japanese, the reason we have this particular formation here is to defend against torpedo attacks. So of course they could still come in on these angles, but assuming the enemy started launching torps uh, in an actual battle, if we had more planes coming, what we would do is bring these guys closer and actually just start circling the cruiser. Uh, it's not you know, necessarily going to save the cruiser for sure, it's one way to maximize your chances at a victory. Let's put it that way. Here we go. Wildcats getting awfully close. Who's going to win this one? Man, this is a little bit scary. And look how high up they are. If there's no parachute, there's no way they're going to survive uh, this crash. Here we go. Come on. Got to start firing soon, son. Here we go, folks! And down she goes! Not too shabby. Let's watch this one. Uh, this is going to be the torpedo bomber. I want to see if we can't catch a crash here. Now he's got that rear, rear gunner. He's doing quite well. I'm afraid that he's going to end up taking out one of the wildcats. Come on, man. Start firing now. Here we go. Nice. We got her. We got her. Down she goes. Straight to Davy Jones' locker. Not a bad job so far, folks. One less torpedo bomber to worry about. Never actually tried to watch the crashing plane there. I was wondering if we would get some sort of visual. It looks like no. Um, we are still chasing the remaining enemy planes here. What I'm going to do is speed up to when actual contact happens here, because it's going to take a little while, although though these Wildcats are very, very close to their targets, too. Did I just stutter on all though? What is wrong with you, Agrippa? How could you do that? All right, um, no, I was going to switch over now, but I see two trailing smoke clouds. Yeah, that's two planes. Uh, they're just flying so damn close to one another. That it's going to be tough to select the other one until we shoot down the first. There we go. Alright, folks, we'll return when we have some more combat. Although, I actually expect at this point um, that that's going to be it. They're going to fly off the map and the battle will be over. I think so far that's a mission accomplished. Right now, I'm just trying to see how many enemy planes I can sink before the end of the fight. Got those fires under control as well. Good work, men. Look at that. A little bit of flooding on the right side. That's why we did have that right side dip. Um, but that can be, of course, fixed. Yeah, the enemy is definitely far enough away at this point for me to just declare this a victory and save my remaining Wildcat pilots. Bring them back to the carrier to have a safe landing here. 
So let's just take a look at the report of this battle. And it looks like some moderate damage to the Hornet. That's not going to be fun. The heaviest damage was to the San Diego. Um, and we did lose two aircraft, but we took out 13 enemy planes. I'd call that a victory, although I would have liked to have reduced the damage here to the Hornet and the San Diego. Sorry, the, the Hornet also has heavy damage, but doesn't have heavy flooding. What do you guys think? Would she be able to make it out to port with this setup? Moderate flooding and heavy damage? I think she probably would be able to just kind of barely limp back to port. But let me know what you guys thought of that fight. And again, do you prefer when I do air attacks or do you prefer these defensive fights? I think the perspective is interesting because you really do get a completely different perspective depending on which side you choose. Take care, folks.